Hello. I've got this table here with a lot of people and their date of births listed in it. And I'd like to order these so that they are in chronological order, with the youngest person at the bottom and the oldest person at the top. In this video, I'll show you how to order chronologically data in date format. In this table, I've got a list of names. Here are their dates of birth. And importantly, I've formatted these as dates. Let me just show you how to do that. Uh, I've selected these uh, cells here. And in the home strip, I've gone along to date. It'll start off with general in there. Uh, and I've changed that to show short date. For this, it doesn't matter whether you choose long date, which is where the date is written out uh, in words and numerals, or short date. This will work exactly the same for either, but I've chosen short date. And you'll notice that because I'm in the UK, um, I'm writing these dates the right way around. Um, so what we'll need to do now, because these are not in any order at all, is to select the column in which our dates appear. Now I'm ordering these chronologically from the oldest to the newest, but this will work uh, for either way round. So whether you want the oldest at the top, newest at the bottom, or the other way round, doesn't matter. So we'll start by selecting just this one column, and then we need to go up to the data tab at the top. And there's a couple of different ways we'll do this. The way is to use this A to Z or Z to A uh, sorting. If we click on A to Z, the first thing it'll do is ask whether we want to expand the selection or continue with just this one column. Now, I should explain. If we were to select this option, continue with a current selection, then we would only be sorting the data in column B. In other words, these dates of birth would all mix up and go in a different order, but the names would stay exactly as they are. Now, that'll probably mean that most people will end up with the wrong date of birth next to their name. So in this case, I want to expand the selection so we are sorting using the data in column B, but then as we change the order of these dates, the names will also be changed so they still match up with the right dates of birth. So choosing expand the selection, we'll click on sort, and we can see now that the oldest is at the top there. We've got 17th of January, then we've got February dates, March and April, right up to the person at the bottom uh, whose date of birth is at the end of October. Now we could do that the other way around. Let's select B uh, again and choose the Z to A. Again, it asks us, do you want to expand the selection? Do you want to keep all the data in this table matched up with the data in column B? Yes, we do. So we'll click sort. And there you can see that the person who was at the bottom is now at the top, even though we weren't sorting alphabetically or anything. Um, her name has remained attached to her date of birth. And so now we have the youngest person at the top and the oldest person at the bottom. So that's one way, uh, a quick and easy way of sorting the dates in chronological order. I mentioned there was another way. Um, it's pretty much the same, but it's just using this sort panel. So rather than the quick and easy A to Z or Z to A, it's using this sort panel. Click on that. Again, same question. We'll expand so the whole table is sorted. And now what we can do is a number of different um, options we can add, but let's keep it simple. To sort by, which column do we want to sort by? We've got column A and column B. So right away, Microsoft Excel can see that we've only got two columns of data. So which one do we want to sort by? Well, we'll click column B. That's our dates. So sort on values. That's the only real one that's going to be of interest to us here. And then we have the uh, option again of oldest to newest 
and newest to oldest. Now this is exactly the same uh, option as we had up here, except instead of the A to Z or A to Z and Z to A options, it makes more sense when we see it's oldest to newest. So let's select oldest to newest, click OK, and there we are. The person born in January is of course the oldest, and the person born in October is the newest or youngest. So that's a really quick and easy way of sorting dates into chronological order.